This guy loves steak. This guy is a steak legend. I've watched him cook probably a dozen steaks, and now he's going to cook my steak. And I don't mean literally, I mean metaphorically, because the title of this video is We Savagely Critique Asmongold $2 Steak. Oh boy. What's up everybody? Today I'm here with my good friend, Joshua Wiseman. I don't know what's about to happen. All I know is there's a computer screen here and I got headphones in, so. We are gonna be reacting to a $2 steaks from Asmongold. I hope it's gonna be good. Give me your professional culinary experience over here. Okay, all the years of suffering I'm gonna put into this. Here we go. All right, here we go. Today I'm gonna show you all how I cook a steak. I know how to cook one meal, a steak. Not a good sign. Not at all. Oh. Now, I think it's a great sign. There was once a, uh, a quote from Bruce Lee. I fear not the man who has practiced a thousand moves. I fear the man who has practiced one move a thousand times. So I don't want to hear about this. I would say that steak is the most important meal of the day. The most important meal maybe of the month or a week, but every day? Yes. Steak always... every day? If I did, I probably would be happier. <laughs> Usually whenever I get... I have a... Uh, well, today I didn't have steak. Today I didn't. I, uh, I got pizza today. I ate one and a half pizzas today. Get up around 2 to 3 p.m. He looks like somebody who would get up at 3 p.m. Is he a gamer? Yeah. I, um, I wish I got up at 3 p.m. Now, 6 p.m., that's a little bit more realistic. I was going to say, this is either the life of a 12-year-old boy or a streamer. One of the... <laughs> Yeah, it's about right. Sure. The two. Uh, it's about looks like a little a little past one a.m. And so this mm -hmm. is prime steak time. Is that the prime steak time, everybody, to uh, cook at one a.m.? Yeah. What do you think, Josh? Any steak yeah. you're getting at one a.m. is not coming from a good place. Now, what do you mean? It comes from the refrigerator. It's not like the refrigerator goes to sleep and it doesn't it doesn't refrigerate the meat. Yeah, bro, like, yeah, it's not like I'm going to go to a butcher and be like, let me get a steak, bro. 1, 1 a.m. is, like, absolute prime steak time. Because, like, so you think about it, right, is that if you eat a steak at 1 in the morning, that means that you can usually go to sleep, right, at, like, 3, 3 in the morning, usually. Because I like to not eat and sleep within, like, the, an hour or two, right? I usually eat, and then I stay up, and then I go to sleep. Um, and so then... If you sleep at three, then you can be awake by noon. So you can lay in bed for three hours until 3 p.m. looking at things on your phone, and then you can get up at 3 p.m. So like, that's actually pretty good. I don't like to get the good steaks. Now the reason- Bro, he didn't like, he, bro, he did not like that shit. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He's offended, yeah. For that is not because I don't like the good steaks. It's because I don't want to like the good steaks. Right. So you don't like the good steaks because you're afraid that you're gonna like the good steaks. I can just tell that this guy likes to make himself feel emotional pain. <laughs> Fuck! God, I'm so fucking mad. I just might have to quit. Oh my god. Steaks. I can just tell that this guy likes to make himself feel emotional pain. <laughs> this is a meal I usually make for myself multiple times a, a, a week. Yeah. Uh, seven multiple dollars, times a week. Seven dollars for four. What's he trying to say? What's he trying to say? Like, that's normal. Steaks here. If it's eight dollars, it's it's got to be a cut of like a shoulder chuck steak or yeah. something like that but even for that price having four steaks there it's still extremely inexpensive so yes. those steaks has yeah, to see be he understands bro he respects the grind i like that all right you like paper thin yeah i'm yeah. guessing yeah so yes, next are. thing is you're gonna need a uh well you're gonna need a pan the thing is that i have about 20 pans in my house 19 of them are dirty. Did you hear what he just said? I guess he keeps everything nice and clean. Well, actually 20 of them are dirty. Where do you I'm keep them? 19. In the sink. Wow, that's crazy. Like, what do you think? There's one that didn't fit in the sink and so I put it on the floor. Yeah. Number 20 Where? Here. 
and uh, I really just clean and, and use the same pan. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Everybody on Earth. But Thank we clean you. them, though. Yeah. We clean them right. So that's normal? Oh, okay. I didn't know that was normal. Like, wait, I thought people use different pans. Okay, okay. Well, I'm an idiot. Oh, I guess I'm a fucking idiot now. Because I thought that you use different pans. Because I used to think that you use the same sheets and the same blanket as well, too. But apparently people swap those around. And the same pillowcases. I didn't know that. I always used the same ones for years. And then, I, you know, I learned that that's not what you're supposed to do. But apparently with the pan, it is. Wash them? No. Then where am I going to sleep? By the way, you yeah. don't leave it, you know, I hope. Oh my God, I had, a, I had a roommate that did that. That would leave their pans in the sink. Mm -hmm. Anyway, rest in peace. So let's keep going. As with well, it. the problem uh, with the leaving the pans in the sink is that sometimes like, uh, so the sink doesn't work. So that is a, it makes things complicated. And so fix it. Yeah. Oh God, bro. I actually do need to fix it. I was talking to my dad about this today. I do need to fix the sink because I haven't done dishes in like six months. Like, I just keep using, uh, like, uh, uh, plastic forks. Like, I'll go to Chipotle, and I'll get, like, five, you know? A and then I'll have, like, forks for the next two or three days, and then I'll go back to Chipotle after that. I had to get, uh, plastic knives. Are you stealing? No, they're free. Any good steak, what do you eat with the steak? Great potato. question. Potato. You eat a potato. That's right. Something's not right. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> what do you- what? 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 Oh, 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 I bet they're not going to like the microwave. Oh, I bet they're not going to like this at all. People say that mental issues are not a thing. Guys, I am not crazy. Everybody else might be crazy, but I'm not. I feel like the I'm the only person that's not crazy. Really? Like, everybody else is... Like, they live in this, like, fucking crazy world. Meanwhile, like, I live in a totally different world. And, and like, it, it's totally, it, yeah, like, because you're great. No, I'm not. Everybody else is fucking crazy. See, I used to say I was crazy as a joke, but I was lying. I'm not crazy. Everybody else is nuts. People are out of their goddamn mind. This is how I cook a potato, is I take the fork and I stab the sh out of the potato yep, yep, and yep, I yep, put the yep. in the microwave. Yep. Just put 20 big potatoes in the oven and, and, and refrigerate the rest, okay? You're welcome. So you need... Oh God, well then, okay. So that's like, all right. So you think about that, right? Then you've got to preheat the oven. And what if the oven doesn't work, right? Oh fuck, what if the oven doesn't work? What if the oven's not the right temperature? What if the potatoes are a different size and then some of them don't cook all the way through and the other ones do? Then you finally get them out of the oven and like now you have 20 fucking potatoes. You got to deal with 20 goddamn fucking hot potatoes, bro. One hot potato is bad. That's why they made a game out of it. So there's one annoying fucking hot potato. You got 20 of these goddamn things. So you either have to put them in wrapping. You got to put them in uh, either tin foil or some sort of thing so they don't have the fucking oxygen around them. So now you have to think about 20, sorry, 19 different uh, fucking uh, things to put a potato in. And then after you do that, then you have to go back into your refrigerator. And like, there are things in my refrigerator. There's a pizza that I got two months ago, still in the refrigerator. So now I have to deal with that pizza. So it's like, you, the, he acts like this is not a big deal, right? And it solves, it does not. Now it's a second problem. Now I have like an entire different problem that's been created by this like min maxing. You see how this happens? Put it in the refrigerator or put it in the I can't because the garbage can is full. There's no room. Butter. Uh, I don't even know why you do that. Uh, I just see other people yeah. doing it. So anyway, uh, you put the butter on the pan. Can you explain, Josh, why we do not put butter on the pan first? You can't sear and also have butter in the pan immediately because it's going to burn before you get any color on the steak. It's going to smell bad. It's going to smoke up everywhere. It could catch on fire. I've seen it catch on fire before. I've caught, I've caught on fire before. 
But like, I don't know. Like, I remember every time that I've caught something on fire. It's not a big deal. Number one, it's not a big deal. Number two, searing a steak. What the fuck is that? I'm trying to cook a steak. I don't want to set it on fire. It smells bad. I can't smell anything. The only thing I can smell is dead animals. And I can also smell the difference between a soda, like a, a diet soda and a regular soda. I can smell the difference between those two things. And a sugar-free soda and a normal soda, I can smell the difference between those two things. But I cannot, yeah, I can. No, I can. Like, it's in a video. Like, we did a steak and eggs video. I could smell it. I could tell the difference. And, um, because the other day, remember I told you guys that I thought there was a dead rat in my house. There was. I knew it immediately. Nobody else knew it, but I did. And I found him. And I threw him in the street. This is a Worcestershire sauce. Look, I don't blame him because I can't say that either. Say I say Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Do you yeah. say Worcestershire? Worcestershire sauce. sauce. People know I struggle with this, okay? Don't make me do this. Of Worcestershire sauce. They were out of the uh, the Kraft Worcestershire sauce, which is like literally like way cheaper. So I had to buy this he literally has the best Worcestershire sauce money can buy. What is- no, okay, alright, alright, yo, real quick, let's fucking pump the brakes here. It's four dollars. It's four- like, we're not talking about this is a big deal. It's four dollars. I think it might be three. Get the fuck out of here. It's all the same. Who gives a f And the only reason I got it is because the craft shit was sold out. <laughs> what? What's your sauce money can buy? It's all the same. Who gives a f <laughs> Perfectly timed. And, uh, it basically is. Also, we get lemon pepper. So the lemon pepper on your steak? Yeah, no, that's a meal. So it's not a big one. It's very thin. Yeah, it's just a beef curtain right there. In Miami, we call it I love the meal. fucking... So it's not a big one. It's very... I look like such an absolute fucking idiot. I, I think that it's only because of the Jesus picture in the background. Like... <laughs> Thing. Yeah, it's just a beef curtain right there. In Miami, we call it palomilla steak. It's not a tender cut, it's not a great cut, and uh, it's very difficult to cook this medium rare, let's say. Uh, what, I'm about... Why would you do a medium rare? No sound whatsoever. No sound in the pan. I guarantee you, you he didn't have the mic next to it, but when he put that in the pan, it probably was like, it sounded like this. <laughs> I, I don't think it's even on. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't want to have it uh, where it's really hot like that, because if I do, then it burns the pan, and then it takes longer to clean the pan. So, like, now I have, like, another problem. You see what I'm saying? So, like, okay, now I have to worry about cleaning the pan, and it's even harder. So that wastes time on the next time that I want to eat a steak. Is it on? Like, is the butter even Oh, it's melted? on. You can see that it's on the knob. It, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you it. Just, again, 30 seconds or a minute? What is it, bro? If your pan is not seasoning, you're not doing it right, everybody. I'll well, never do it. Get, we want to double up on steaks today or not. Ah, uh, it's fine. If I'm hungry later on, I'll just eat another cookie. Did he say if he's hungry, he'll eat another cookie? I, I think we should cook a mistake, Josh. Yeah. Was okay, so let's talk a little bit about this, this whole cookie thing, all right? Number one. I I don't think cookies are unhealthy. I don't. I, I genuinely do not think cookies are unhealthy at all. I think they are good for you even. Now, the things that are unhealthy. So if there is any artificial coloring that's blue or purple, I think that's unhealthy. The other ones are fine, but the blue and purple ones are uh, specifically bad.
most types of cheese. Is there anything else that's truly unhealthy? Uncooked fish. Oh, uh, one more. That's it. Those are the only things that I consider truly unhealthy. Sugar drinks? No, those are fine. That's not a problem. But it, it's the uncooked fish. That's the problem. What's wrong with fat? It's disgusting. Did he say if he's hungry, he'll eat another cookie? I think we should cook him a steak, Josh. Yeah, I would love to. Let us cook you a steak, brother. We would love to do it, okay? And we'll kiss you. You'll keep that part for you. I'll do it. Yeah. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know your wife. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go ahead and take you guys. I'm going to move you a little bit over here. And so you got to shake, shake this bitch up, right? And the reason yeah. you do that is because on the back of the bottle, it says to do it. And so uh, next thing, we'll go ahead and open this up. And I'll show you guys what we're doing mm. here. That is f***ed. No cursing on my channel, Oh, bro. sorry. That's f***ed. That's... Sad. If I walked in and I saw that, I'd be like, oh my god! And i just like, reflex throw it across Honestly, the Honestly, that is a sad steak, everybody. The steak has literally died inside and it's uh, <laughs> asking for help. So I put... It's absolutely delicious. This is probably one of the... You know, guys, I, I know that, like, I've showed this before, but I actually... Um, I take pictures of the steaks that I make very regularly. Like, cause I, I feel like some of them are like really good. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna take a picture of this one so I don't forget how good it was. And I have, I even thought about making an Instagram account just for posting all the pictures that I take of steaks that I make. Like for example, here's a steak that I made right here. Uh, this is a steak, uh, it was a great steak. Uh, I, I, I take pictures almost of every steak that I make. Uh, let's see if I can find another one. I have to scroll. Maybe not every steak, but I take a lot of pictures of steaks. Where are they? Maybe I maybe I went through a period of time where I wasn't. Oh, here's another one. So as you can see here, I burnt the pan a lot, but there's another picture of a steak right there. That was a great steak. I remember eating that one. Oh, I took a picture of all my teeth before uh, I got them all replaced. Oh my God. I don't think you guys even want to, I, I actually don't think you guys want to see this. It's so fucking nasty, it's insane. Like, it's actually so bad. Okay, where's another one? I'll find one more, there's one more. There's another picture of another steak. I, I, I put this on the steak, there we go. No salt, just that seasoning, huh? I well, guess it has salt, salt in, in the seasoning, yeah. is my guess. Mm. And, yeah, I, and then yeah. I also put salt and pepper on it after I cook it, and I, like, while I'm eating it, cutting it up and eating it. This. Quick note, if you're ever going to season something, never season it in the pan unless it's only salt. But if, it, if it's not, what's going to happen? It's going to burn. 100%. I mean, whatever made it on the steak, I guess, may not, but what's it? So where, where do you season it, then? On a chopping board? Oh, so now you have two dishes you have to wash. <laughs> A fucking course not. I'm gonna do. No, I'm not gonna. That's insane. So now I've got. I've got. I mean, there's two dishes. I've got to watch. Oh my! It's twice as much work. In the pan right now. The 85 percent of it's in the pan. Yep. I I'm about to see God. Uh, yep. I, I get steaks medium to medium well at restaurants. But at home, I only cook steaks well done. That's right. It's so wrong that I'm like confused on how to judge it. Yeah, it, it, it's not easy to uh, like be critical because everything is wrong. Yeah, there's so, <laughs> there's so many layers. You see, they might think everything is wrong, but if they ate it, they would know that the, the, the final product is right. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. You cannot, you can be not a believer, all right? But I will have you know that every person who has cooked this steak has thought that it was great, with the exception of Ms. Kiff, who thought that the steak-to-butter ratio should be one-to-one. -one. Ms. Kiff completely fucked up my steak. It was embarrassing. My dad called me up because he was mad watching it live.
that it was even happening. As to what's bad about it, and also like, well, how thick was the steak? Even if you get this medium, yeah. it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it, it no longer is the steak is dead. Yes. Oh man, that's a good ass steak. Man. It is. It really is. I mean, you know, you know, it's it each is their own. I apologize, everybody. That does not look good to me. Uh, this it's steak so was good. well done, like before it went into the pan. This is a oh, good, it's quick so good. meal. Now, usually, yeah. I eat steaks about six times a week. Yeah. I thought I eat a lot of steaks, and he eats more steaks than me. How many times a week do you eat steaks? Here? I think steak is a special thing to an extent. Mm. So if you eat it all the time, it loses its specialness. No. Nope. I used to think that about ice cream sandwiches. And then I bought like a box of ice cream sandwiches and there was like 40 in them. And I ate one every single day. And I remember on the last day, the 40th day, I ate the last ice cream sandwich and it felt really good. It felt just as good as the first one. Why be happy some days of the week whenever you could be happy every day of the week? You know, if it's a nice, thick, juicy steak, you know, a couple I, times a month. I agree with you because not everybody eats steaks every day. And whenever you eat steaks, you should treat yourself. You should get something nice. It should feel right? special. Yeah, it shouldn't be something like that one. I get steaks, I get... It's about... See, treating yourself is the path to gluttony. It's the path to sin. And it is the path to indulgence. Okay? I don't treat myself. I eat steaks. That's it. And they're good. I never pat myself on the back. I never say, oh, you're a good boy today. Never. If I have a stream and I get 100,000 viewers, I end my stream. And I go to the Taco Bell drive through and I order the exact same thing. Potatoes, I get cookies. His diet is very, very, very nice. Yes. Steak, potatoes, cookies. That's it. Uh, no, uh... I've also got these. Uh, I ate these. And, um... Chipotle. Yes, Chipotle. And beef jerky. Yes, that's it. That, that, if you, like, that is probably 70% of my diet. Honestly, he's actually surprisingly, like, in pretty decent shape. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. Uh, yeah. You know, people ask me, like, what do you do now that you, uh, you, you know, you, you're, you're. Yeah, I don't know how people do it. People are on these diets and shit, and they're fat. We'll start eating gummy lifesavers and eating steaks at one in the morning. It'll solve your fucking problems. Quit eating so much goddamn food. Also, uh, you know, I, I was, I felt like my stomach was a little bit big, right? Look at this. See, I felt like my stomach was a bit big. And you know what it is now? It's not. Not at all. Like, I'm skinny as fuck. You want to know why? It's because I stopped eating as much food. That's right. I said, you know what? I'm not going to eat. And, and actually, I hardly even stopped eating as much food. I just walked around. I walked around. Like, I walked like maybe two, three miles. Problem solved. All these people have these complicated ass diets that they have like, they pay somebody to help them lose weight. Bro, why would you pay? Why would this person want you to lose weight? Then you're gonna stop paying them. Nah, man. You wanna lose weight, this is what you do. One meal a day, steak. Just like mine, just thin steak. And then you have, throughout the day, beef jerky. 
for for things to drink, you either go with Dr. Pepper. You can go with Pepsi. Uh, or you can go with, I'm just kidding. Um, or you can go with lemonade. And that's it, that's, that's it. My taste buds are so damaged that I don't even think lemons are sour. Like eating a raw lemon. Doing that is the same as drinking water to me. That's all, if you want to lose weight, that's the solution. Streamed as well and you make money. Uh, well, uh, I, these paper plates, there's only like 30 of them and it was like $5. It's a lot. They're, they were, they're trying to save the planet, man. So uh, you, get the, you get the paper plate here. Oh my the god, that's good. Right there on the plate. That was such a stink. <laughs> the stink is so thin you can barely see it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like because it's a thin paper plate, yeah. right? And despite that, it's disappearing inside the plate as if it were a bowl. So you yes. put the potato right here also on the plate. And uh do I have a knife? Oh yeah, yeah, I need to get another knife. Uh I'm gonna just cut this open real quick, just so you guys can see what we're all about. And so you cut that potato open. Wow, it worked. The microwave does work really well for potatoes. And so there it is. So you see this right here. This is what, what, what we eat uh, pretty much every day. I'm a simple man. I live a simple life. I like steak and potato. Whoa, he does what to the potato? Potato. It looks like he's going to get... Oh, you know, like not when it's that hot, but... Have a nice finish here. I don't care if it's a cheap steak, it's a good steak, and it's good enough for me. <laughs> you enjoy your steak, yep. you cooked it yourself, right. even though it might not be good enough for me or for Josh or who, maybe everyone else on the planet. But you <laughs> <laughs> look, as I said, remember when that anime girl Onigiri spent fucking 45 minutes cooking her brother a steak, and her brother said mine was better. 45 minutes and 45 dollars. Who enjoyed that stick and you cooked it, man? I, I, I give respect. So what do you think, Josh? I love your rating over here. Well, are we rating it? Yes, one out of 10. <laughs> 10 being the best, one being the worst. Okay. And we got? A 3.5 out of 10. Okay, how do now we that's got a Now much higher than you might have anticipated. No, that's higher than me. Here's why I'm giving it a 3.5. Mm. Number one, he cooked it himself. Number two, he used real ingredients he didn't use any pre-made mashed potatoes he didn't use oh bro you don't want oh that's another thing it's disgusting it's absolutely filthy fucking disgusting any pre-made sauces no he actually cooked whole ingredients yes. all the way through yes and that is the single-handed reason why it is a three and a half mm -hmm. now, that's it would you eat it? If I was held hostage. Like a prison meal, basically. Yeah, like a prison meal, but instead of a prison... Well, to be fair, that's kind of the way that we used to do it. Because we didn't have any fucking money. So we'd eat the sticks. Listen, they're threatening my life. Guys, you suggested us to watch this video, so we did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go check out Josh's channel on the link on the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ooh, I threw up my arm. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, you ready? I should have eaten more of my steaks. That wouldn't have happened. I'm going to be honest. See, if you eat this steak, you will know. You will know how good it truly is and also like you gotta think this is a 3.5 that's fine because like you're talking about a 3.5 okay that's a 3.5 compared to like a5 wagyu steak that's insane that's like one third is good 3.5 is crazy good so you have a min maxed meal that is like four fucking dollars at the most. And it, it's a third as good as a hundred dollar steak. I think we're looking pretty good, guys. Yeah. Now, let's go down. We'll read some of the comments here. I'll link you guys the video. I, I've watched Guga Foods many, many times. I've watched many of his steak videos. 
I think they're amazing. So I, I have only positive things to say. The comments. I didn't even know he had a second channel, to be honest with you. I had no idea. I thought it was just the Google Foods. Let's see this here. It's a 10 of 10 steak. I never saw a damn $2 steak providing so much content and spreading like coronavirus in this whole goddamn world. The man's steak was so bad that seeing him enjoy that steak legit inspired me to pick up cooking as a hobby. Since if someone could enjoy eating a burnt shoe, I could probably enjoy cooking a decent steak. Thank you, bald man. Can't wait for Asmongold to react to this. What's amusing that uh, what's amusing is that so far everyone who's made his steak admitted that it's much better than it seems. There it is. I'm surprised you watched this. I've been trying to get Asmongold to watch one of your videos after he put this out, but he's never had. I, I've already seen it. Yeah, I know who this guy is. Of course, I know who that dude. I I'm on YouTube, man. Who doesn't know Google Foods? Of course. As I said, today, I literally went to get pizza. A guy comes out from the back, and he's like, Google reacted to your steak. Did you see it? And I'm like, what? He's like, he reacted. He saw, you, he saw your steak. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Oh, boy. And I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen today, man. Yeah. Mmm. Ah. Uh. This meal fits Asgold's personality so well. Strict to the point and no stuffing. Yep, there we go. I live in a very, very unique way. And I am going to be honest. I am the only person in the world who is not crazy. I'm not. Everybody else is. Everybody else has lost their mind in this world. And I'm the only person who has been able to maintain sanity through such a crazy reality.